Hey guys, we're here today at Hard Racing. We're going over all the driven products we're going to put on the bike. There'll be more coming, but for right now, we're going to go over these right here. We've got the driven grips, the D-axis grips. They offered them in very, very uh, large amount of colors. Blue, black, red, I mean the whole gambit of colors. We've got red ones here today and black ones. They got the D-axis mirrors. These are a billet bar end mirror. We'll show you how these fit on the bike. You basically have these uh, bar ends here. It clamps onto that, and then the mirror goes on the end of it. Cool thing about these, they come with these uh, spacers to fit for like fat bars that are hollow ends, but they also happen to be the exact same thread as your stock bar ends. So you can actually use these with your stock bars without having to do any modifications. So that's a really nice feature. They also have the bar end sliders. If you want some extra protection on the ends of your bars, same concept again. It's made for uh, hollow bars, either clip-ons or fat bars. But you just unscrew these off, all the way off, and then you can basically just screw them right into your stock bars. So again, it's a nice little feature that they can use with either threaded bar ends or hollowed ones. So we'll go over on, on how all this stuff fits on your bike in a second here, but... And then basically you got the billet mirror here. That mounts into the back of that. That clamps onto there. And then that clamps onto there. And we'll show you how easy it is to put on your bike and install and stuff. All right, so as you can see, we've put the Renthal fat bars on our bike already. And we put the controls on them. And then on the throttle side, We've already cut off the stock grip. Very easy to do. Just take a razor blade to it and just put a nice clean slice on it and just peel it off. It's pretty simple and easy to do. It's got a little bit of rubber cement on it. The nice uh, thing about these throttles is they have uh, grooved uh, basically teeth inside the plastic throttle tube. So when you put the new grip on, you don't have to go crazy with the glue like you have in the past going to be a lot uh, easier to um, have it securely fit onto the bike without having any issues of having your grip slide around as you open and close the throttle. Alright, so we've got a little bit of uh, the grip rubber cement on here. Take a little Q-tip, just kind of smear it around, put it inside the grip. All you do is just slide it on nice and smoothly and quick. Alright, so on the throttle side, the throttle uh, actual tube has a flare end on it, and any kind of grip that's got a uh, sleeve on it, you're going to have to shave that down. So we shaved it down, took a little Aquanet hair, uh, hairspray, actually shoot it on the inside of the grip and on the throttle tube, slide it on, it makes it slide it on easier, and then once it dries, it becomes like a glue. So that's another option to make it a little bit easier when you're sliding it onto a... Uh, kind of a knurled uh, throttle tube like this one here. So now that we got both grips on, next thing we'll do is the bar ends. All right, so first we're gonna just show you how these work. These are the driven bar end sliders. Again, these work for stock bars or for clip-ons or aftermarket fat bars. If you're gonna use it with a hollow tube, which would be a clip-on or a fat bar, you leave these on it and you just slightly tighten them up a little bit so you can get them inside and then once they're inside crank them and that's it it's that simple the actual pieces slide and make it wedged inside it and now you've got yourself a nice solid bar end slider real good crash, crash protector and just to remove it and that's it obviously if you want to make sure it's in there really really good and stays put just put a drop of blue uh, Loctite on there so that way these things don't ever come loose, rattle loose. And now we're going to show you how to do the bar end mirrors. Alright, so we got the bar end adapters there. You slide them all the way in. And 
right, now you got it all set up. Tighten it down. All good. Make sure your throttle still turns no problem. And then you put on the clamps. Alright, so once you got the bar end in there tight, then the clamp goes around the bar end. And you have that screw that goes into the clamp, and those two pinch it together. This on the end of it has a ball, a little capture ball. And inside this arm, the pocket, and same thing right here. So you got the mirror, a little ball here, and a ball there. And you tighten these right here, and that allows it to stiffen up to have enough to be able to move them and adjust them. And then when you find your happy median, you just crank the screws down, a little snug, not too much. You don't want to strip anything or break it, so it's just finger tight, but enough to make it to where it's all snug. And you can put them down below like we have here, so they don't stick out as far. It sees right along the back of the bike, kind of nice to set up. Some people prefer to stick them out, and you can loosen them up and spin them out. You can turn the whole thing up top, and have the bars coming off of the back of it, facing the back way. There's pretty much infinite amount of adjustability with these mirrors to put them where you like them. That's the beauty of the bar and mirrors, is that pretty much any kind of personal preference is uh, how you can mount these things up. But I gotta tell you, after playing with these and, and using them and adjusting them and everything, this is some really, really high quality craftsmanship here that Driven's put into these things. The machine work on this is just so precise, it's just, the anodizing's perfect, the fit and the finish, everything. I mean, it, it's not a real big part, but I tell you what, if they put that much effort into these little tiny parts, just imagine what they do to their bigger ones like rear sets and whatnot. So, something to consider, uh, bar end mirrors. If you go to fat bars and you want to get rid of, uh, or you get a master cylinder and you're going to get rid of the mirrors, this is a nice alternative. Super adjustable, uh, personal preference, lots of different colors. Check them all out on our website and we'll get you taken care of.